Okay, so if you want to send stuff to the moon, and not just any stuff, you want to send people and a capsule big enough to hold people and enough food and air to and water to let them survive the trip and the fuel to get it back and the necessary gear to get them back so you need something to bring them back from the moon you need a big rocket and the apollo missions were launched with the saturn 5 rocket which was the biggest baddest rocket ever devised in humanity arguably ever that's right even the rockets that we have right now arguably aren't as powerful as the Saturn V rocket used to send people to the moon. I mean, this thing was a monster. It was 363 feet tall. It was 33 feet wide, fully fueled. This, this number blows my mind every time. Fully fueled, this thing weighed six and a half million pounds. So, <laughs> Just think of those numbers of we're going to take six and a half million pounds and we're going to send it not just a little bit up in the sky. We're going to send it into Earth orbit. We're going to send it to the moon. Now, these rockets, especially the Saturn V rocket, move in stages. They launch in multiple stages. And the reason why is that, like you've got this big, tall rocket. You need a lot of fuel just to get off the ground so now you're off the ground and you've expended a lot of fuel but you still have all this empty shell and the the weight of the motor itself and you still you don't want to take all of this to orbit because that's just a whole bunch of weight that you're carrying around it's like it's like checking bags on an airline flight that are empty like what's the point you want them to be full if you want to actually get your money's worth so this is why staging exists. You use the bottom stage, the bottommost part of the rocket, and it's loaded up with fuel. That gets you off the ground. That gets you to a certain height, and then you detach that. Once that bit is empty, you detach it. You don't need it anymore. And then hidden inside is another rocket with its own fuel tank. And then that pushes you a little bit further, and then maybe you don't even need that anymore. So that detaches, and then hidden inside of that is another rocket with its own source of fuel, that you actually use to complete your mission. The Apollo missions were three stages and rocket fuel itself, like this, you know, rockets are the most complex engines and machines ever de devised by humanity, but the fuel system itself is really simple. You just bring two chemicals together light a match and then you know chemistry does the rest of the work so in the first stage the bottom stage of the saturn V rocket it's just liquid oxygen and something called rp1 which is basically kerosene oxygen kerosene match boom go out the bottom rocket happens the next stages are liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen which have uh, different performance characteristics they're able to lift the rocket or push the rocket in a different way that's more efficient once it's up there rather than down here that's why there's the different mix of chemicals and remember this 6.5 million pounds 363 feet tall 33 feet wide you gotta go 33 times the speed of sound. We're not messing around here, folks. <laughs>